Hey, this is Mitch Nina Survival. Today, we're going to enjoy some squirrel. Stay tuned. Alright, so I'm just building up the fire. I'm gonna get this stone nice and hot. I'm gonna fry up some squirrel. Oh, yeah. It's sizzling nice and hot. That's a nice back strap right here. Oh yeah. Turn this around. It's 
Looking good. You know, I really like frying on rocks because the fat and any juices that come out stay right here. You can see it right underneath the meat. It helps it stay a little bit more moist. Improves the nutritional value. And it also improves the taste, of course. Now, cooking on stones is its very easy. It's very intuitive. The meat cooks that's touching the stone, and the meat cooks what's facing the fire. So you get two surfaces that cook. This is nice cooked right here. This is slightly cooked. You can see in front, this isn't cooked at all. So sometimes you have to rotate through the sides. And you have to just work with the with the meat to see what it needs. So this is what this looks like here. This is one of the back straps. It's definitely on its way. Oh yeah. This is real close. I'm gonna cook it a little more. Make sure that the thickest part of it is cooked. Alright, so before I finish it off, I'm going to put some seasoning on it. This is some salt that I made from boiling down some ocean water, Atlantic. I'm going to take a little bit of this, sprinkle it on there. Same with the other one. Rub it all in, real nice. Before I put it up there to finish, I'm putting the cut side, the middle, towards the fire. Check this one out. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks amazing. Whew, look at that. Oh, you guys gotta get a look at that. That looks beautiful. Alright. I'm gonna put a little salt in there as well. Finish it off. Alright, get these pieces just finishing up as well. This large one needs still a lot of work. Still needs a lot of cooking right there. So I'm going to cook this a little bit more. And I'm going to start partitioning the meat off of it into smaller pieces. Alright. Time for the taste test. Let's see. Grab a little bit of this back strap. Here we go. Nice beautiful piece. Thank you for your sacrifice, brother. So tender. Mmm. That salt, that natural sea salt, really, 
brings it to whole new realms. <laughs> wow. Grab some more. On the back strap. It's actually a little too hot to eat. I'll grab a different one. On the back strap. I mean, just look at this. You just bite into it and just it just falls apart. I mean, oh man, look at that. A little bit of uh, crispy on the side. Wow. Mm. That's delicious. That's real good. Hot, but I'm braving it. <laughs> Mmm. You get, you get the salt in there. And you get this juicy, tender, white meat. That just has its own flavor. I definitely like that better than chicken. That is amazing. Alright, just cut this guy up. I'm going to loosely follow the muscle patterns that are already there. It's a nice little chunk. You can see I just went with the grain right on the side. Now this is pretty thick in the middle, so I'm going to cut it in half. There we go. That's ready to be finished off. And you can see it's slightly undercooked right in the middle. So that's why I do that. Put that aside. I'll put them all up at the same time so they all finish around the same time. So I'm not interrupted while I'm doing this because they'll finish in less than a minute probably. Alright, so there's the bone right there. And that's what I cut along. Okay. Now I'm at the bone again. Fire's hot. There we go. Very undercooked on the inside. Cut that in half as well. See, the problem is when you have thick pieces of meat, the outside ends up getting way overcooked, black and burnt and all that, crispy, like way overcooked, before the inside cooks. Because the fire tends to cook things pretty fast, pretty hot. Alright. I'll just try to follow the bone if I can. right there. As you can see I'm just following the bone. Another nice piece. A 
remove that bone. I have another bone down here to follow. I can cut all the meat out of the center. Cut that in half as well. See, I don't like to just put my animals up on a little spit and roast them over the fire. Everything gets dry and hard and crispy and then the inside's really undercooked. And then you just kind of like pick at it and you try to like eat what you can on the outside as it cooks. And I really just don't enjoy that. It just seems like there's a lot of meat wasted that way. and and it's just not all ready at the same time and and all of that you know so this is how I like to do things and that's the reason why so I'm just going along the bone the best I can that's not a good chunk I'll leave that just the way it is Side. Just pulling the meat away as I cut. Another good chunk. I'll cut that in half. Not too shabby. So that's what I'm left with, is a thigh, two bones, and a third bone right there. It's like one little snippet of meat right there that's left. Pretty much everything else is gone. That's how I like it. There's a little bit right here. A little bit hiding from me. Ha ha. <laughs> Gotta get it all. To do anything else is unacceptable. Because in a survival situation, you don't want every scrap you can. However, just in a respectful way, you have to do this. You have to get every scrap you can. Because the animal died for you. So the least you can do is eat them. Take the pieces that are the thickest, put them up front. You know, I'm purposely keeping my fire small so that it will go out easy when I'm done. It's not a big to-do, it's not a big bonfire. I don't have this big four foot tall problem to deal with. It's just enough for the task I need it for. I'm not cooking a lot of meat not cooking for a long time so I've been keeping it small keep feeding it little twigs and that way it also turns into ash when it's done I don't have these big honking charred logs when I'm done it's all powder that way I can pour some water on it mix it up throw it around make sure it's safe make sure it's out and it leaves the smallest amount of trace as possible This is actually the first piece I cut off, the thigh, that side piece. Alright, let's try it out. Hmm. Incredible. It's 
to me is just off the hook. So good. Alright, let's finish the survival. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my squirrel. Appreciate your views. Comments and support. See you guys in the next one.